Christopher, thank you very much. Uh, again, I am honored to be here again uh, for uh, the Star of Texas Awards um, to honor those who have given so much in the service of our state to their fellow Texans. A few days ago, we marked the 11th anniversary of the attacks of 9-11, and we think back over the, those events and uh, the shock it gave way to grief and eventually to acceptance, the one enduring trait that uh, we have seen carried forward in this country has been that of courage, uh, the courage of firefighters who marched ever upward into those towers. They died so that others could live. They saved lives. The courage of the first responders both military and civilians, who pulled victims from the safety of that smoking hole that was the Pentagon, including a future Texas state senator who was one of those victims. They, had, they did that without regard to their personal safety. The courage of the civilians on United Flight 93 who risked and lost everything knowing that they were the only ones standing between life and death for somebody on the ground. And while the scope of those attacks seized the world's attention uh, and this universal outpouring of grief, it's important to remember that the tragedy of 9-11 was felt most directly by individuals. It was felt in the form of fathers who would never return home daughters who would never return another phone call, countless wives and husbands, and siblings and friends, all lost in the space of a single morning. For 11 years we have lived under that reminder of just how fragile our peaceful world is and how thin the line between us and disaster. That's a reality that our first responders in Texas face every single day. On any single day, they may be called upon to rush a car accident victim to the hospital, to earning those precious seconds that can be the difference between life and death. They may be called upon to capture a dangerous fugitive, ensuring that no longer is that individual on the streets and putting our citizens at risk. They may be called upon to take to the skies to spread a flame retort over wildfires, calming an inferno that threatens a community. In short, our first responders prevent personal disasters. Our own personal 9-11 that can impact us on any given day. They're the ones ensuring that we'll be there, safe for birthdays, for weddings, for graduations. They're the ones ensuring a safe return home and that that near tragedy leaves nothing more behind than an interesting story. You know, over the past year, Texas has seen its share of disasters, uh, and once again, we were able to depend upon our best and our brightest to come to our defense. Our first responders fought massive fire wildfires outside of Wichita Falls, near San Angelo, and battled total devastation near Bastrop. Our first responders moved quickly and decisively when dealing with a violent tornado outbreak in Dallas-Fort Worth area. Their fast action helped save untold lives. With less fanfare, they also moved quickly to save Texans suffering heart attacks, injured in car accidents, other critical life or death situations. They pursued suspects. They took drunk drivers off the streets. They issued warrants, eviction notices. 
Anyone in this room knows that this calling, this noble service, carries with it a great element of danger. They understand, you understand, that placing yourself in harm's way will sometimes carry a cost and all too often pay that ultimate sacrifice. Like police officer Jaime Padron, he was shot and killed while responding to a routine report of an intoxicated male at a shopping center. State Trooper Javier Arana, Jr., who died in an auto accident in pursuit of a suspect in El Paso. Lieutenant Todd Wesley Crottle. He died when the roof he was standing on collapsed while he was fighting a Dallas area fire. Those three individuals, plus all the others that we've lost over the past year, they lived lives of meaning. They are part of a higher calling. And like the other honorees who are here today, they help make Texas a safer, stronger, and a better place to live, to call home. To those of you with us today who were injured, who were doing your duty, you have our gratitude, our respect, our undying loyalty to those of you who have lost loved ones. I can only imagine the pain that uh, you continue to feel, but I hope you understand that the contributions of your loved one, your fallen hero, helped spare countless others from the type of pain that you've experienced. Know that they lived in the most noble fashion possible, placing the lives of others above their own safety. The Texans that we honor today are the best our state has to offer, people from whom honor, courage, dedication, it's a way of life. They're the people we can always count on in a crisis, and we take great pride in honoring them today. God bless you, and may he speed your healing, and through you, may God continue to bless the great state of Texas. Thank you.